असलम माई डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लेट जॉन फार्मेसी ये सर टुडे वी विल कम्प्लीट द टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इन अवर थर्ड सेमिस्टर बी फार्मेसी द लास्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज ऑफ पी ओ सी टू ओके फार्मास्यूटिकल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू लेट स्टार्ट टू मार्क्स इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विथ आंसर्स आई एम गोविंग हेयर ओके एंड आंसर्स इन पी ओ सी टू फर्स्ट वन इज अ राइट द स्ट्रक्चर एंड यूजर्स ऑफ अ सैक्रीन बी एच सी रिसोर्सिनॉल फीनॉल डाइफिनाइल मीथेन डी डी टी क्लोरामाइन जस्ट वॉट यू डू मीन्स यू जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट और यू जस्ट टेक ऑन पेपर एंड राइट इट डाउन बेस्ट दीज आंसर्स आर बेस्ट फॉर यूर एग्जामिनेशन दीज आंसर्स आर इनफ यू टेक ऑन पेपर एंड पेन सेट वन साइड राइट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन विथ आंसर ओके सो प्लीज डोंट स्किप वॉच द वीडियो ऑन टिल लास्ट द सेम वीडियो वॉट आई एम मेड नाउ नो द सेम टॉपिक्स सेम वीडियोज द सेम मेथड ऑफ टीचिंग आई हैव मेड फॉर द remaining three subjects in our third semester inshallah coming soon i will make uh, the two marks important questions with answer for second semester so stay tuned with my channel let gen pharmacy and be notified yes see the first one is saccharine structure this is a structure of saccharine uh, there is no chance without practicing you have to practice to get the diagram to get the structure of this saccharine as you know that saccharine it is the sweetening agent what is that it is the sweetening agent this is saccharine structure it is a sweetening agent then it is used to treat the food and beverage without calories here calories are 0% 0% calories without calories only we can treat the food and beverages or we can give the sweetness to that food and beverages clear yeah the next one the second question is means second question means bhc in that only that is benzene hexachloride this benzene hexachloride see it is an insecticide on crops it is used in forestry for seed treatment it is also used of head and body lice to in the lice treatment it is benzene hexachloride bhc the white colored fluid which you get in the market no bhc benzene hexachloride okay benzyl uh, ben benzyl acno the cream is there no that constitute benzene hexachloride it is used to treat the ac uh, which one Head lice. In some condition, it is used to treat the acne. Acne also. Yes. The next one is the chloramine. Chloramine, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a. This is a structure of chloramine. It has a role of an anti-falling biocide and disinfectant. Also, it acts as an allergen. It acts as an allergen. It acts as an. Uh, sorry. Which one? This chloramine. It acts as an allergen. It also acts as a disinfectant. and it is also given for the uh, patients who are suffering from the some mind disorders okay some mind disorders we are giving this which one chloramine next uh, phenol yes very simple structure making plastic such as bakelite we are using phenol it is a good disinfectant uh, phenol then we are using this phenol in the detol means it important ingredient in detol in the preparation of dyes we are using phenol yeah these all are the uses of this phenol yes now next one is a ddt ddt uses see ddt was commonly used for pesticide and insecticide control means insect control ddt was initially used by the military it is very important to get notified see bb ddt basically first it was initially it was used in the military which one that uh, american military in the world war second uh, to control malaria typhus body lice and the uh, bubonic plague bubonic plague we are using which one this ddt okay it is used ddt very important next one uh, define ester value yes this is the second question ester value define ester value see significance and here this ester value iodine value okay these values are asked in 10 marks as well as in 5 marks and in 2 marks okay if you practice ester value in acid value ester value uh, or saponification value in 10 marks means you can get the profit of that in 5 marks as well as in 4 uh, sorry in 2 marks so please don't skip that don't skip that reading which one ester value or acid value or saponification value very important very very important uh, set it in your mind ha huh. ester value see amount of a milligram of a ko which means potassium hydroxide react react with ester present in 1 gram of fat soil and simple okay one 
milligram total number of milligram of potassium hydroxide that should be required to react with the one gram of fats or oil its significance means importance it is also used to determine the extent of compounding like extent of fats and oils to improve the oiliness character improves the oiliness quality in a lubricant we are using this ester value next define activating group and deactivating group see activating groups of substituent that increase the rate of reaction okay example is alkyl ns2 nr2 then oh alcohol means just we are increasing the reactivity the rate of reactivity opposite to that is a deactivating group the substituents that decrease the rate of reactivity like nitrogen dioxide um, sulfonic acid so3h carbo carbo carboxylic acid halogens okay halogens cyanides these all are the deactivating groups clear now fourth one what is huckel's rule it is also very important two marks question asked many time in your examination it states that uh, planar molecule has a 4n plus 2n electrons okay means uh, if a cyclic planar molecule has a 4n plus 2 pi molecule it is considered as aromatic means huckel's rule why it was constructed means uh, uh, those days uh, there was a uh, very difficult to understand or very difficult to learn which one is a uh, benzene ring or which one is aromatic ring here so to solve the doubts of that aromaticity uh, this uh, huckel rule was constructed it states that uh, it should be cyclic it should be planar molecule, molecule and that should be with holes or that should be passed with the 4n plus 2 pi electrons okay 4n plus 2 pi electrons n is nothing but number of uh, electrons yes my dear brothers and sister this is huckel's rule significance this rule would come to be no as huckel's rule yes significance to determine if a planar ring would have aromatic properties i have told you if it is having the aromatic property means it should come across or it should pass validated through this huckel's rule 4n plus 2 pi rule then only it is known as aromatic otherwise it's non aromatic yeah define rancidity and its significance rancidity is a very general term okay and in and in in its most general meaning general meaning i am going to tell you it refers to the spoilage of food in such a way that it becomes undesirable for consumption means the food get oxidized okay the fat and oils get oxidized that also you can write but betterness according to me is this it refers to the spoilage of food how spoilage means we are, it is unconsumable a person or any living thing uh, for an example human only if that get a spoilage means we cannot eat because it producing some of the fishy smell fishy odor why because of the heavy oxidation or spoilage significance see here rancidity helps to determine the oxidation in a sample then it uh, it is essential component determining the determining is shelf life of the period okay rancidity helps to determine how long the periods are lasts the yeah, shelf life the next one the fifth, sixth one is structure and uses of resorcinol naphthols see resorcinol structure 2h it is a naphthol resorcinol is used in the treatment of acne seb acne seborrhea then dermatitis eczema sorry eczema dermatitis then uh, it is used as other skin disorders which one that is resorcinol naphthol so uh, it is used in making several dyes then tanning agents antioxidant and antiseptics what we are using uh, that uh, benzene balls no these benzene balls is nothing but naphthols we are keeping in our clothes okay uh, we are keep we are keeping those in the toilet rooms those are naphthols next are give the composition of fats and oils see fats and oils basically they composed of the triglycerides are the most pro- predominant component of the fats and oils the minor components include mono and di di glycerides free fatty acids phosphates steroids fatty alcohols fat soluble vitamins and other substances these are the composition of fats and oils then give qualitative test for phenols see litmus uh, test of phenol means the phenol turns blue litmus to the red means acidic phenol it is the acidic in nature if a blue if uh, the phenol is present in the given sample means it turns to the red then we know that it is a phenol then ferric chloride test violet or blue coloration shows the presence of the
phenol see here, this one phenol when tested with a bromide it gives a tribromophenol it is also one chemical reaction or qualitative test the ninth one what are fatty acid example see fatty acids are the carboxylic acid that are structural component of the many lipids these are the carboxylic acid okay that are structural components not are identical same but the structural components of many lipids like a lauric acid palmitic acid these all are the fatty acid then rm value what is rm value see risort value it is the indicator of how much volatile fatty acids can be extracted from the fat through saponification by the way of a saponification what the quantity or how much amount of fat can be extracted okay it is the indicator indicator which one that is the rm value then the next one is what is the kelsen moffets modification kelsen moffets modification see uh, means it is the substitute for the beer strain theory to show the actual position of the carbon carbon bonds in cyclopropane which is somewhat relieves the strain on the carbon carbon bonds means just to, to treat the limitations of the beer strain theory we are using the kelsen moffets so to know the position actual position of the carbon carbon bond in cyclopropane and also it identifies or relieve the strain of carbon carbon double bonds sorry the in between the bonds which one carbon carbon define drying of oil with the significance see drying of oil generally fatty acid e fatty uh, fatty vegetable oil that is capable of chemically reacting with oxygen present in the air eventually the oil hardens and dries if that vegetable oil is react with the air means it gets hardened for an example you take you keep one uh, oil means the the oil should be with the open lid you keep for 2 to 3 days uh, approximately for 4 to 5 days then your vegetable oils get hardened means your vegetable oil gets dried dried okay why because of the reaction then eventually the oil hardens and dries and dries significance drying oils are used as vehicles in paints varnishes and printing inks okay this is the very important drying oil significance come through this and 12th one is water polynuclear hydrocarbon hydrocarbon molecule with two or more closed rings is known as a polynuclear polynuclear hydrocarbon two or more closed rings naphthalene yes it is also then a c10 h8 two or more ring it's they have described you know naphthalene you take phenanthrene you take anthracene you take okay, these all are the example for the polynuclear hydrocarbons uses of a triphenylmethane uses it is used in copying papers what xerox papers what we are telling you there it is used the hectograph printing inks and textile application this trimethyl this trimethyl uh, triphenylmethane is used then define acid value the acid value is the number which which expresses in milligram means the amount of potassium hydroxide necessary to neutralize the free acid present in 1 gram of the substance okay uh, to neutralize the 1 gram of the substance to neutralize the 1 gram of the substance free acid present in 1 gram of the substance we are using the acid value the acid number is useful to indicate the progress of oxidation number progress to know the progressivity of that we are using this yeah next one is a define acetyl value very important this is a, don't skip number of a milligram of potassium hydroxide required to neutralize the acetic acid set for 1 gram of acetylated compound when the later later is subjected to hydrolysis after one that is subjected to hydrolysis okay then what is a friedel crafts acylation what is this the friedel crafts acylation is the reaction of arene with the acyl chloride or anhydrase using a strong lewis acid and a catalyst see aromatic compound is known as arene aromatic is nothing but arene reacts with the acyl chloride in the presence of the strong lewis acid and in the presence of the catalyst aluminum chloride it gives some of the acyl group then the by product yes then difference between fat and oils see difference this is the difference you just go through this difference they are saturated fats they are unsaturated increase the level of cholesterol they won't increase lowers the level increase the risk of cardiovascular but oils they lower the risk of cardiovascular solid at room temperature absolutely they are liquid at room temperature okay these are mainly mainly originate from where from the animal that it is of fat but here oil mainly it is originate or discovered or extracted from the 
many plant sources yes my dear brothers and sister this today we completed the 17 important important very very important questions in the pharmaceutical organic chemistry so please don't skip this video tell your friends to watch the video and just write these answers these are enough for your examination for in a, for two marks and some questions which i had not repeated like beer strain theory okay or some of the other preparation of a cyclopropane so these questions are repeated in your five marks and 10 marks so for that reason i am not in included those in a, this section clear so my dear brothers and sisters if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel let join pharmacy support me my dear brothers and sisters thank you assalam alaikum